welcome, my name is Ruth and I'm here today at Dash Plant Pack. I'm going to talk to Wouter Ziek, who's the director of sales here at Dash. So Wouter, thank you for having me. Thank you very much for being here. Yes, thank you. So let's dive right into it. How has the past year, year and a half been like for you? Um, very exciting to start with, but also very challenging. We started out uh, directly after COVID with less demand than before, which, uh, which we expected. But then all of a sudden, um, everybody started to buy big quantities of our products, uh, which led to actually an over demand. People wanted more than we could, uh, could deal with. Uh, so yes, in that, in that view, it was quite a challenging year. So demand has been at an all time high for you right now at this moment. Does that create any challenges for you? It absolutely does. Uh, what you see happening is um, normally we work from stock. We produce our products, we put them in stock and supply the, the growers from, uh, from our stock positions. And if you sell a lot more than you usually do, you don't uh, get the opportunity to build any stock positions. So we are more and more um, producing directly for our, all our sales which is really a challenge because we have a limited amount of machines and we have a huge variation of, uh, of tools. Nice. So is it possible for you to scale up in this situation? Do you have enough materials to use? Uh, that's a very good question because material is the basic challenge that we have right now. Um, the world has changed a lot in the past year and a half, two years. Recycling materials, what we basically use, so 95% of our products is based on recycled materials, is getting more and more difficult to obtain. And the reason for that is that throughout the world we see that more and more industries start using recycled materials instead of virgin. Virgin, that's new material, prime material, which was not so much in, uh, in supply, especially in 2020. So they had to look elsewhere for different types of products. They found recycled products as a, an opportunity to deal with that. And now they're used to that, so we don't see this situation coming back where we get to buy all the good recycled materials. So are you still able to deliver everything on time? No, we are not, unfortunately. Um, what we see happening in the marketplace is that growers always ordered at the latest moment. Mm. Dutch growers were used to order today, get delivered tomorrow. Now they need to order half a year in advance in order to get the product. And then still, it's a question, are we really able to do this? And it's not just Dash. All the industry, uh, the, the total industry, all our competitors as well, they, they are being faced with the same, the same challenge right now. And it's not just the raw material, it's also the machines. If you want to scale up in order to answer to the, uh, to the increased quantities of the market, you, you buy a new machine, the machine has a lead time. Lead time can be anywhere from half a year to a year, depending on what you order. And we see that the lead times are being stretched based on they can't get the, the metal to build them, uh, they can't get the electronics to build them, etc. etc. So that's also a challenge. We try to scale up by sourcing new materials everywhere, mm -hmm. new material as in new recycled materials. We try to buy additional machines, they don't come or they come later. So they have a knock-on effect on our production schedules and or on our production planning and thus on our supply to the grower. Do you think that you can overcome all these challenges? Is there a silver lining in all of this? Of course there's a silver lining to it. Um, the demand is good. The, um, we are in a new situation right now when it comes to sourcing materials. We have find new, found new sources uh, in the market. Uh, we are able to upscale also in that quality is still an issue. We are upscaling in terms of um, machines and we are also upscaling uh, again in type of uh, recyclability of the product which is a huge uh, topic in the marketplace where we used to do a lot of black pots, pots that could not be recognized in, um, in sorting uh, of, uh, of, of, of recycling uh, units. Now we use the DTEC Plus material and the recover pots that can be recognized as such, recognized for what they are and we can uh, get the materials back, we or other suppliers, in order to make new products out of them. That's a wonderful system. It creates a, a nice loop where the material that you use can then be feed back to you in order to be reused. 
Yes, like I said, feedback to us or to other suppliers, but at least the material can be taken back from the waste stream so that it can be used for a new purpose. And the good thing is that we have two lines, DTEC Plus, based on post-industrial waste, and we have recover material that's based on post-consumer waste. So what you throw in the bin at home will be sorted, uh, it will be washed and uh, it will be made available for new production. Uh, we call that one recover and we managed to get a very good contract for the years to come in order to obtain enough material to make those products. So that's a big step ahead. So in these times of challenges and COVID, do you have any advice for the growers? Yes, absolutely. Be in time with your orders. Don't wait until the last moment to order your product, because if you do so, there's really the risk that you don't get your product in time, not just with Dash, but with all manufacturers. Yeah, I can understand that this is a nationwide, even an international issue right now. So thank you for having me, and thank you for explaining the situation as it is in this moment. You're welcome. Thank you. And thank you for watching this video about the latest developments here at Dash.